Hi, thanks for joining us again here this week at What's the Story. Well, we've got a great show for you. We've got a greatest hit show for you. But not only do we have a greatest hit show, we have a game show. So we're going to take all of our crew and we're going to use them as our contestants. But the show, it's not a regular game show. This show is actually called Damn You're Stupid. <laughs> so if you get it right, you're smart. If you get it wrong, then damn you're stupid. So uh, right now we're going to go ahead and introduce our contestants with Eric Bellman. Eric, hey. why don't you tell me why you wear that ring on your finger? I wear this ring because it wouldn't fit on my single finger. <laughs> That's a really good point. Many rings do not fit on your single finger. But right now, I just want to ask you, you're wearing your army boots, aren't you? Yes, I am. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Uncle Sam gave them to me. That's cool. Now we're going to go over and talk to our friend Greg. Mr. Pucci. Hi. You're not part of this cast. No, I'm not. What are you doing here? Well, you know, I had nothing else to do, so, you know, I just stopped by, you know. Well, Greg, I'm really happy to see that you came by. Well, Greg, I'm happy to be here too, Dan. I want to ask you a question, but I don't have any. <laughs> it's it's so, going to be a battle royale of the redheads. It is. It is a battle royale it's of the redheads. It's going to be a cage match. Look at these two guys. They're redheads. Greg, is your red hair real? Mine's natural. All right. Let's go straight into our video right now. Make him prove it. <laughs> All right. This video is about man-made shrubbery. Radiohead. Mr. Pucci! Radiohead! Oh! Eric was showing up! Okay. The video is Radiohead, Fake Plastic Trees. Back to what's the story? We, have a we do? We have a display at the Virgin Megastore? Yeah, you guys got really? a display. Wow. All right. What would you chuck yeah. that up to, John? Uh, How would you answer that question? I see my face in trash cans more than I did before. <laughs> Fireplace, keeping the house warm. It's all dumb luck, sir. Well, John and I went to college uh, at Humboldt State University. We met in 1987. We started noodling around on guitars, basically teaching, learning, and how to play them because we didn't know how. And we started a band. And then we kept playing in bands. And then we met these guys uh, at a uh, where did we meet you guys? At a video store or something? I don't know. <laughs> Last year, I don't know. Yeah. We were all in the same section. Yeah, we but we. It was all ads in the, you know, we had, you know, professional band seeking serious people only, serious with record deal, acquire within, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Hair was important, ads. right? Hair, hair. hair. Yeah. And, and need a van. Need a van, yeah. <laughs> and extra money. Yeah. And gigs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Band needs gigs <laughs> and drummer. <laughs> I, but I, what I think is most important is Chris and I decided to be in a band before we uh, decided yeah, to try to learn to play guitar. Which is obvious uh, on the record, I think. <laughs> All right. Now, is that good enough? Well, that's, 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 there we go. Now, your first, now, was your first band Brent's TV? Yes. Or, that was your first band? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because I have that CD. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's with um, Sweet Baby. Which is your brother's? My brother. Your brother's band. Um, My brother is going to become a pop any day now. Oh, oh really? Yes. Is he be a daddy? The, a his daddy his wife's just yeah. waiting to pop. <laughs> now, are you are you still playing with the Bombassets or? Well. Oh, what's going on with that? I mean, I play with the Bombassets whenever the Bombassets play, <laughs> which is very infrequently. Yeah. They, I, they just finished recording a new record that'll be out on Lookout. April or May? Or yeah, in several months from now, but Many it'll months. be a full length. Oh, that's cool. Four months. Now, Gary, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you used to be with Redemption 87. Yes. Okay, now what? Yes. They, which, Redemption 87, for all of you who don't know about it, or were, or are, or I don't know, what's the status of the band? I mean, um, actually... Actually, right now, uh, Redemption is in the studio. We're doing a last final album, and uh, we are broken up, and that's for sure, and complete, and all done. Oh, really? Yeah. Because uh, I was another big fan of Redemption. Oh, <laughs> I'm wow. a big fan of the, of the San Francisco, you know, punk scene, and you know, I've, I caught you guys when you guys were the AFI, and you know, just like how I caught the high fives when they were with Mr. T Experience back at Berkeley Square. It was a long time ago. Oh, yeah, so, I remember that. Yeah, Bombasses played, Bombas played that night. And that opening band from uh, 
LA, LA the played, yeah. Tour. Yeah, <laughs> I remember it well. Because they, um, I remember they came up to me and they were like, "Oh yeah, you guys with the magazine?" And we're like, uh, "My friend at the time who did an interview with the Mr. T Experience was with Thrasher." And you're like, "Oh, can we get an interview?" And my friend's just like, "Ah, uh, well." <laughs> 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 That's all he said. That's all. Isn't that charming? Yeah. <laughs> we're usually that pushy too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, how would you describe your music to people who've never heard the high fives before? Uh, yeah, so, uh, how? Oh God, I don't know. It's like it's like the ch Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. That, that is that's the closest I can think of. Ask ask Chris if he has an idea. Well, it's emotional music. That's really emotional. Yes. Yeah. You know, it all should be on violin. The next album's gonna be all violins, strings, sweetening. It's all about emotion. And who, who share? I mean, who do both of you write all the lyrics for the for that album? And who and the music also? I can't. You can't hear me, huh? The lyrics and the music you both write? Yeah, Chris and I share songwriting duties. Okay, uh, songwriting ditties. <laughs> who are you most influenced by for this type of music? I mean, oh, the uh, the milkshakes and like all the. Um, I mean, the stuff you'd guess, like all the, the rock and roll bands from the 60s, like the Beatles, the Kings, Jerry and the Pacemakers, all those things. And then, you know, and then, and then coupled with today's punk rock sensibility, you know, <laughs> the Buzzcocks, Ramones, X, all those bands. Are, you know, Redemption 87. Redemption 87. <laughs> decal. Now, for Gary, now, what is it like playing in a band, coming from a hardcore band into, into more of a, I don't know, <laughs> well, basically, it um, it's like the best of both worlds for me. Um, when I really got into rock and roll music, I was influenced by 60s music, The Who, Beatles, The Kinks. Um, and then I kind of evolved uh, into, like, you know, the punk rock thing, of course, uh, Sex Pistols, uh, English punk, uh, L.A. hardcore. So it kind of evolved to a punk rock thing anyways, and I played in punk rock bands from, like, the time I could play drums on. And basically, the, the difference between the two, I mean, I was willing to do the both. In fact, I wanted to because it's both fast, both something like a part of me. You know, the hardcore thing was an emotion thing. Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd say, something to release the tension and the aggression and all. But then there's the other uh, cutesy, poppy side that High Fives kind of took Talk apart. Me, yes, it was you.
by the ne'er do wells called Hypnotizer. You're back. You just saw Radiohead. Now you came back to me. I'm really glad to hear that. So we have <laughs> two people that you've already met. And right now I just want to say to Eric, Damn! You're stupid! <laughs> okay, so right now we're just going to go straight into our... What? What? Oh, just damn you're stupid. Oh. That's it. <laughs> right now we're just going to go right into our next video. At least the questions. Okay. It's another battle royale of the redheads. It is another battle royale of the redheads. <laughs> so, <laughs> right now let's go into our questions. <laughs> Mr. I don't want to interrupt you and take up all the fame. Uh, this video... <laughs> all the band members are flying through the air. No. <laughs> oh! Melissa! The Eels? Do you know the name of the song? Never came for the song. Oh, Never she's came. so right. Yay! <laughs> okay. Bye. You're back. You just saw another cool video. So, right now I just want to say we have he's still two people that you've met, but Mr. Eric Bellman here, damn! You're stupid! I can't hear you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, Eric, I just want you to know that uh, if you get this one wrong, it'll be a battle royal between you and Mr. Damn It's gonna stupid. be a cage match! Okay, let's go right into our video. <laughs> or right into our questions. This song and video comes off this band's final studio LP, Stoney's Extra Stout Pig. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> this song's name comes from a popular bubblegum. Okay. <laughs> Me, I have introduced this band more than any other band we've ever had on the show. Oh, I know what it is! It's that one band. The, the one, the, 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 well, the one with the hair, the guy with the hair, and the, um... You know. That oh, one. okay, yeah, that one. So right now, I just want to say to both of you, damn, you're stupid. <laughs> I know what it was. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce this video. This video is the Dead Milkman doing Peter Bazooka. Bye. I knew that. Now, after all that, I want to say thanks to Bell Plastics. It's gonna be like some place, right? There. Anyway, and here comes our credits. Remember, stick around and uh, look for our address and call us because we have free stuff. Local band, send me your stuff. That's it. Bye. Don't give a fuck.